Sometimes it can be tricky to type things on a keyboard. You might have to hold down two keys at the same time that are spaced quite far apart and you really need two hands to hold them down. Or perhaps your hand has the shakes and you just find it hard to hold down two or more keys at the same time. Apple's sticky keys can help you out with both these problems. Find it under the Apple menu in System Preferences. It's down here in Universal Access on the System row. And what you want then is the keyboard tab that I have selected here. The first thing to know is that you can turn sticky keys on and off with the keyboard if you check this box, press the shift key five times to turn sticky keys on or off. I'm not going to do that at the moment, but be aware that it's there. I'm going to turn sticky keys on with the radio button here. You might have heard that kind of unlocking or kind of shutter noise that tells me that sticky keys has been turned on. I'm also going to ask the computer to beep when a modifier key is set and to display pressed keys on the screen. I'll do that right now. I'll hold down the command key. You should have heard that kind of clicking noise and here the command key icon has appeared on the screen. Just so you know you can move that round to a place where it's more visible and more useful for you. OK, I've turned sticky keys on. I'm going to quit system preferences. And now I'm going to call up a text editor. For example, BB Edit, where I have a document. Now I might like to be typing an ellipsis, which you'd normally get by holding down the option key and then the semicolon. An ellipsis is those three dots close together that tell you something's been left out of a sentence. So to do this I can just press the option key and let go and you'll see that this symbol has come up here to show me that the option key is engaged and now I can press and let go the semicolon. The ellipsis appears in my document and notice that the symbol for the option key has disappeared. The option key is now no longer engaged. If I simply press return and press a semicolon now, all I get is a semicolon. To type another ellipsis, I would need to press option again and then semicolon. Another thing you might like to do, for example, just to show you how you can hold down more than two keys at the same time, you might like to look up the dictionary definition of a word, for example this word kiwi that I have here. Normally to do that you would hold down the apple key, the control key and the letter D while you hover over the word. I'll put the cursor in position and now because I have sticky keys available to me I'm going to press and release the command key. Notice the symbol comes up on screen. Press and release the control key the control symbol is added and now I can press and release the letter D and here's the dictionary definition. Try out sticky keys for yourself, see if they might be handy for you and tell us over at the website how you got on.